Okay, Nick Perry did not practice. Devon Kennard was limited. Malcolm Smith was limited. Tyron Smith did not practice. And everybody, everybody else uh, did our uh, practice today. Um, it wasn't a very long practice or difficult practice. You know, we, we've had a long time to prepare for this game. We physically have taxed our players over the last two weeks. And uh, as I mentioned yesterday, it's time to really turn it to more towards a mental focus. We've got to continue to do a good job preparing all the way up to the game and through the end of the game. Is this kind of like tapering after, uh, um, I don't know, to use a swimming analogy? They've been going pretty hard with the conditioning thing, just getting ready for them? Well, I don't, I don't know about that. I've never run a marathon, but it would, it, I guess it's like training for a marathon and then not doing anything two days before. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what it feels like. You know, we, we've practiced at a faster pace than what we're used to, um, especially last week, you know, by a week of getting them up and practicing at 6 in the morning. And, um, putting them through a lot, so now it's time to, to rest and make sure that we have our legs back, you know, for a marathon. If it rains a little bit on Saturday, how might, might that affect the game? Like, Catch it down! Offense? Yeah, it's, it's so hard to tell, you know, when it rains, that how much does it rain? Does it rain or even it stops? You know, people assume rain is always an advantage to the defense, and it's really not. If, rain, if it rains before the game and stops near kickoff, it becomes an advantage for the offense. If you use it right, because you know where you're going, they don't know where you're going. So um, it, it all depends, and I think both teams can throw the ball and both teams can run the ball. So I don't think it would be a major advantage to either team. You said Nick Perry didn't practice today. Was that just to, to give him a break? Well, we hope that, that he'll be ready to play. Um, if we played today, we wouldn't have. You know, otherwise, we would have practiced him. So hopefully, he'll be back and ready to go Saturday. Coach, are there any starters uh, that definitely will not play on Saturday no, because of injury? No, we hope that everybody will be there. Um, I can't say that for sure, but uh, hope to have everybody Saturday for a very difficult game. Do you know if you're going to start West Warden? Uh, do not know. Uh, you know, we'll figure that out Saturday as, as we see where Nick's at. And, uh, it really won't matter on defense who starts in this game uh, because everybody we got is going to need to play at some point. What about DeJon Harris? He was his his status. He's fine. Yeah, practiced all week. He's fine. Playing the, 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 maybe the magnitude of this game, maybe on a national scale, playing the number one team, is there any sense that you maybe have to keep the guys toned down a little bit or not to get too high? I mean, assuming that this would be you know, their chance, their best chance maybe of the year to make an uh, impact on the national scale. Yeah, as we get closer here, we have to make sure, you know, that, that we keep keep their composure and, you know, keep their energy safe for the game. And not only is it the number one team, but it's a marathon game because of how many plays we're going to have to play and play against their speed. So um, we need to make sure we're not wasting any energy before the game and leading up to the game and make sure we conserve it for, conserve it for a long game. Did you talk to Jarrell at all about the comments that uh, he made that were quoted? Yeah, I told him that he reminded me of when I coached Sapp, but, um, you know, <laughs> He said, said what he said. And I said it today on the radio. I mean, I don't think it matters what you say with these guys. They're the number one team in the country. They're the number one offense in the country. Um, they blow out everybody they play. So um, whether you say something or not, you know, you're going to have your hands full all day long.